Hello and welcome to King Arthur Knight's Tale. This game was released earlier this year. I had my eye on it ever since it was released, although I thought it was a little bit pricey. But as of now, uh, late September, early October 2022, it's on sale. So with the price drop, I thought let's give it a go. Let's start a new campaign. Um, let's do classic mode. Uh, permadeath seems a bit much. Because I do think that you can actually um, just get a complete game over, which is a bit much for a game that can last 50, 60 hours. Um, let's do hard. Um, yeah. If we get slapped around too much, I might have to change this. I think you can change this uh, at will later on. Here we go. Wake up, Knight. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. It is. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back. To end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him, but I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I've set this uh -huh. dread night on a dark path, and for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible, after all. Almost killed the king, who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. This is the legendary island of Avalon, far, far beyond the realm of Britannia. Surrounded by the endless sea of the other world, Avalon is the realm of the most powerful enchantress who has ever lived. She has many names, but in Britannia they revered her as the Lady of the Lake. She was born under the cold wave and ascended, ascended to, to reign over this magical land. Magical island. 
She is the immortal who spins the fate of mortal kings and queens, the one who speaks the language of the, of the lakes and ancient forests. She rules this land that was once meant to be a haven for the fallen heroes, the mirror image of the mightiest kingdom in the world. All right, leave the secret sanctuary. Wait, who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. All right, for some reason, we just get combat. Uh. Mm-hmm. Deal 100% weapon damage to an adjacent enemy. Causes 20% vulnerability to target for one turn. Hmm. Reserve. Alright. Oh, I still have two AP. No? I don't. Um. No, this takes three. And turn. All heroes reserve their remaining AP. Aha, so now I can attack twice. <laughs> I guess I didn't gain anything by uh, putting vulnerability on him. Damn, that felt good. But where am I? I thought that dying could change a man, but I might be wrong. Hey, who's there? I can hear you. Let me out. Treasure this time. Loot. All right. Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Well, 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 Sir Kay. King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward, an honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Hmm. Let's see, locked up in a cage whimpering just as I remember you, Kay. What the hell is going on here? Come down and calm down and talk to me. So yeah, this was kind of the thing I was expecting. We are in a way the bad guy, but we're revived and we have the possibility to kind of play the good guy now, which I usually do because I, I, <laughs> yeah, I kind of don't like playing playing a bad guy in games. Um, so yeah, what the hell is going on here? Calm down and talk to me. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? Uh, can't say I do, no. And yet, here you are. Speak. You are quite upset about dying, yet you seem to be very much alive. How so? Yeah, I, I, I can't say I do, because I, I really don't remember. Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. You promised me help if I set you free, how about that? Uh, what is this rich, wretched place anyway? So you, a knight of the round table, ended up here behind locks. Pitiful. What is this wretched place anyway? I've already told you. Avalon. The island of the fallen knights. And this is Castle Camelot. What? This hovel is Camelot? If you are playing tricks on me, I'll break your bones. This is our castle? Uh... Let's be a little less antagonistic. Yes, 
Not the one that you remember, though. Guess not. You promised me help if I set you free. How about that? I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's a, a, a... So he will help us, and I think right now we're on our own. We can use all the help we can, so... Hold control to stick info. Okay, it does it does stick until I release control. All right. We have a friend now. Great. That's my arm over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. All right. We have a quick save. Let's see if it works now. Maybe only in combat. Oh no, I think I saw something. Uh, journal. We have a journal. Basic controls, basic fight, loot, game mechanics, stage effects, end game. Uh, all right. No, I was kind of. This is weird having the X button down here. Expecting it to be up here. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this! What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! <laughs> Backstab. <laughs> There you go. Uh, Awaiting your command. Hmm. Escape to cancel. This takes. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, but. So walking a straight line takes two AP. This takes two AP. This one, one. This takes three. Yeah, okay. Oh, wrong button. So this also takes three, actually. But then he'll get a attack of opportunity, I suppose. Oh. That's it. I was just getting warmed up. He can hit a Quite a lot harder than we can. Save successful. So yeah, this game is still getting uh, somewhat regular updates and I read on the community tab that the developer is working, developers are still working on DLC or Maybe the base game, I don't know. Uh, but I couldn't really say anything about it. It's kind of hush hush. More means to our cause. <laughs> Look what I found. Sigil of heavy armor. Can we, uh. Hmm. I don't know. This is the warden's room. Prepare for battle. All right. What's this on the map? Sir Kay, you are really persistent. But I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. Your turn. Alright, let's see. Um, 
Well, should we split it up or go at them at the same time? Eh, split up. To run now. Ready to fight. Uh, right, we need to enter. Yes. It's my turn again. Oh, I guess it is. alone taste my blade awaiting your command now we should find the one who is truly in charge here oh that's odd when you uh, get out of combat you have direct control I can use WASD to walk around Treasure lost and found. I see a chest. Do you? Trophy. Yeah, I still am uh, not sure where where that stuff goes. If we have a uh, inventory or anything. Controls. Skills. Overwatch. Fast forward enemies. Reserve. Cycle selection. Map. Pause. Tap. Model highlights. Alt. That might be good to know. Retargeting preview. Character sheet. Maybe. Maybe character sheet? Nope. Cannot use it right now. Maybe we can only equip stuff outside of missions. Careful. It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Predictable battles. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. It looks to be an archer. Uh, let's go in through the, this way. Let's get that to the archer first. Show me your metal, Knights of Camelot. Before your kill. Deploy your heroes. Select your heroes one by one. Place them in the green area with the right mouse button. Okay, done that. And now, enter, escape, no. Space, no. Uh, oh, begin. Okay, so the the end the uh, even though our AP is gone, it doesn't uh, end our turn automatically. I think you could you can turn that on if you want. Uh, yeah. Your is 
mine. You're done. Should I move him? Let's move him back. Uh, no. Lucky. I can hit him. I can get close to him though. I can give him a slap. What master do these soldiers serve anyway? That would be Sir Toelan. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. I wish I knew what you are. Uh, yeah, because you kind of seem undead. Yeah. I am just a walking corpse, yeah. cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. Do you have a name or proud words from a walking torps? Walking nameless corpse. Do you have a name? Well, Sir Tewelin. He is... he was Sir Tewelin. Tewelin. A once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. Um, what are you doing in Camelot? Out of curiosity, are your sons such ugly... <laughs> such ugly monstrosities as you? Um, what are you doing in Lord... Uh, what are you doing in Camelot? A bell in battle, like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. Hmm. All I hear is a pitiful whimper and not an answer I need. I might be just as lost as you are. What are you even talking about? Well, we did just come back from the dead. Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place reserved for the once and future king. That is the law, but I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. Mm -hmm. Clever man, this is a great way to make an ancient enchantress very pissed. Do you think it is wise to infuriate the Lady of this land? Yeah. I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse and blessing. All right. Is King Arthur here with you, walking corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. Hmm. He can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Well, that's true. So what? Don't waste my time. Uh, yeah. He, c he can't be dead. And the raging tempest. Something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of midnight. Spare me the poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is and I let you live, or whatever you call this, this existence. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. Hmm. We'll see. Worst case is that you keep on lamenting after I take your head. Well, we have no uh, pol uh, political way out of this.
Uh, what do we have? Should we just go for him right away? That's a shame, actually. Now wait, let's let's get you over here. Put one of these on him. Uh, let's give you a slap, and then uh, you can move over here. You're a bit safer there, and yeah, this one. Yeah, if I had positioned him here, he could have hit both of them, but now it's just him. Well, okay. And we're up. All right. Okay, so just downing him doesn't actually resolve anything uh, this is another shame that I can't hmm. awaiting your command hide back here Is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? Well, this not this is not very uh, immersive. Uh, let's see. I have decided this will this is my throne now, throne room now, and with my band of selected knights, I will fulfill my destiny. Let's see. I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. So I have watched a uh, some videos with uh, beginner tips. And one of them was if you go if you so actually this is the tyrant option I believe and this is kind of the good-natured option and Although this doesn't seem like such a bad thing to say right now, uh, if you choose to go good or bad, you should really stick to it to get everything to get the most out of it. You can't be a um, you can't be a midway character. There's no point in choosing one, sometimes one, sometimes the other. You have to go full on one or the other. So I'm probably gonna go. I think the yeah the lion. 
Yeah, this also sh sounds more, uh, uh, what's the word, noble. So I'm probably going to stick with decisions like this. Which is kind of a shame because I'll, well, if I get to more decisions I'll probably read it and say what the logical choice would be. But I probably will be sticking to these choices anyway. But here we go. I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. Um, so yeah, why shouldn't I really take the throne though? Well, it's not, it's not meant for me, I suppose. You could say that maybe. Well, let's not upset the Lady of the Lake like like we uh, uh, like our friend just did now, Sir Telewin. I am Mordred, and I was reborn on the mystical island of Avalon, the resting place of the fallen knights. A vision told me my purpose, to find and destroy King Arthur. I woke up in a ruined castle, a reflection of the real Camelot. This is my castle now, I am still trying to understand the nature of the powers that brought me here, but meanwhile, I have a new realm to build and an old enemy to kill. Alright. Mm-hmm. All right. Morality events. During your journey, you'll have to make tough choices that will affect the outcome of the story and your allied heroes loyally. Here you can see your previous morality event choices. I have chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I have been chosen. Yeah, okay, this is just he. Uh... Every choice you make will represent, will be represented on a morality chart. You can unlock morality abilities and heroes that are unique to that alignment. On the vertical axis, your alignment can go from being a rightful ruler to a reckless tyrant. On the horizontal, it can change from being a devout Christian to the follower of the old faith. The choice is yours. Um, so yeah, we'll be going up instead of down and then the question is are we more of an old faith or more of a Christianity kind of guy <laughs> uh, so yeah you could check which which is which what you get abilities mm-hmm Ah, Sir Lancelot. Rightful one. Okay. So yeah, I will I will admit I'm not uh, not that familiar with the uh, Arthurian lore. I uh, I actually almost bought. I should probably should. I almost bought uh, uh, the book. The once and future, the once and future king. But yeah. Um, but oh, the thing I wanted to mention: as a kid, there was a cartoon uh, uh, about Sir Lancelot, and I I don't remember the cartoon at all. I just remember it being about Sir Lancelot and the Knights of the Round Table, and uh, I think I really liked that cartoon. But yeah. I've never gone back to it and actually watched it. I don't know if I can even find it. It's uh, it's likely that it's uh, pretty pretty bad. So Mordred, so we can level him up. Available points too. Um, shield charge. So we can upgrade. Uh huh. Yeah, I think shield charge would be a good one to have. Oh, we need two for that. Oh, that, all right. 
Well, that's a shame because uh, uh, having bleed would be uh, good as well. But yeah, shield charge probably. Uh. Let's get some armor going. Uh, plus 22. Defender, champion only. Defender, champion only. Defender, champion only. Uh, regain armor when drinking potions. Plus 2 HP when resting. Let's give you, um, oh we also have this, plus one injury token, champion only. So we cannot use this? No, because we're not a champion I suppose. Can you use it? Yes you can, well take it. Let's give you some armor as well, let's give you this one. And let's see, what is this? Death Strike. Deals 170% weapon damage to an adjacent enemy, but with one minus 20% armor breaking, and each point of armor on the target reduces the damage dealt by three additional points. Cooldown two turns. Rage. Gain 10% stackable weapon damage for two turns after every kill. Oh. Juggernaut, the hero gains plus 5 cum cumulative weapon damage for each tile of movement until the end of the turn. Uh, mm -hmm. Might not be uh, such a bad idea actually, but extra bleeding. That might also strength. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Just flat out more damage. Uh, oh, giving that cleave ability some extra bleeding would be. Uh, although, remembering now, um, one of the video, uh, the video I, I watched with some beginner tips said that in the early game you don't really. Um, you f I think we get to fight a lot of undead which don't bleed so specking a bleed going for bleed now uh, doesn't really pay off in the beginning so maybe we just I uh, shouldn't really uh, uh, let's just get 10% more damage for now uh, I think I'm uh, guessing we don't have that ability just yet, I don't, or I don't know if this is actually this character that gets it. There's also an ability with, which um, does damage in a straight line. That also would be kind of handy. But, okay. Okay. The once and future king's stronghold in Avalon, the mirror image of the glorious fortress in Britannia created by the powers that rule this mystical land, island, I keep saying land, mystical island, only the most powerful knight of the round table can claim it, the blessing of the lady have protected the place, the blessings of the lady have protected the place for a long time, but now it lays in ruins. You need resources and workers to rebuild it as the seat of your future kingdom. Building resources. Okay. Uh, do we have to go there or do we have optional missions? Next mission journal story. Uh, I woke up in a strange stone chamber surrounded by ancient statues and haunted by the eerie visions of the battle where I died. This is Avalon, the realm of the Lady of the Lake, and my new purpose here is to find King Arthur, but first I must get out of this dreadful place, wherever it is. Uh, yeah, I read this. I'm still trying to understand the nature of the powers that brought me here, but meanwhile I have new realms to build and old enemy to kill. Heroes. 
Sir Mordred. Sir Mordred was one of the greatest knights of the round table, smart, relentless and dedicated, eventually becoming the nemesis of King Arthur, destined to battle the once and future king in their final duel at the Battle of the Camelon. His increasing conflicts with King Arthur, with Arthur earned him the title of traitor on behalf of his fellow knights who remained faithful to Camelot. It is true that Mordred always had a reputation of, black of a black knight, a ruthless grim warrior who never suffered fools easily, and his relentless actions were always far from the knightly deeds praised by the troubadours. But he always kept the interest of the realm in sight. In the last battle for Britannia, Sir Mordred and King Arthur finally clashed in a furious battle, and in a savage duel they both struck a killing blow. However, even after they their fall, their fate is still intertwined here in the otherworldly island of Avalon. Sir Kay is the late King Arthur's foster brother. Uh, one of the finest warriors of the Round Table in Avalon, he continued to act as Arthur's Senegal in his absence and most of the uh, knights treated him as their leader. It is all changed. It all changed after the Lady of the Lake, the monarch of the mystical island, disappeared during a terrible storm, which unleashed a tide of unnatural disasters upon Avalon. Kay withdrew from into a fortified castle near the empty husk of Camelot, and he has taken upon himself to fight the darkness slowly, engulfing the entire region. It all started uh, out by waging a constant war against brigands and knights gathering ragtag armies, but Kay soon realized that there was an evil taint seeping in from the farthest reaches of Avalon. When he learned that Camelot had been taken by Sir Tewelin, he set out to cleanse the place, only to be betrayed by his own vassals. I see. Um, I'm kind of wondering about this Sir Tewelin, because so, he said he was basically immortal, but we dealt with him rather quickly. I thought he would be getting back up or something. Um, we, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like I can interact with anything. I don't think we have... I know there are side quests in this uh, uh, game. But not now. The nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone. What a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway, the village belongs to the throne, and I must teach these brigands a harsh lesson about boundaries. Also, I will need plenty of masons, woodcutters, and laborers to restore Camelot to its former glory. All right. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about what the sense of this mission would be, but I guess yeah, getting getting um, gathering people to uh, rebuild Camelot is uh, is something of a reason to go there, I suppose. Crudable hero. Free the village from a marauding knight and put the remaining serfs to work in Camelot. Well, we don't have any other choice. I think we are too late. I don't see any survivors. Oh. What is this thing? What thing? Oh. More things to plunder. Well, if it isn't good, Sir Balan. Come on, then, fellows. Let's play. Yes, the righteous fool, trying to save the village on his own. Um. I am here to serve. Hmm. 
Yeah. Sir Mordred, the rumors are true. Then you have returned. Well, word traveled fast. Uh, Sir Balan, wasting away your talents as always. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. I hate to admit, but I'm here for the same reason. I need this land. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. Hmm. Where is Sir Balin? That selfish, wild zealot is busy defending our heirloom at the Bridge of Sorrow. It should have been mine, but he ignored our father's will. Tell me about that. Curse upon Balan. Anyway, my late father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. I fought and killed your late father in Camelot. No hard feelings, I hope. So I take it uh, this is uh, one of the sons of uh, Sir Tebelin. So let's mention his father. Maybe maybe uh, look where his, where his allegiances are. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. He became a disgrace to everything he fought for in his life. Death was salvation for him. All right. What do you know about King Arthur? I must find him. Or should I say that it is my nightly quest? You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon. And people need guidance. They always do, weaklings. We'll see about what uh, we'll see about that when I finally meet Arthur. You have a point. Do you have any idea where he could be? The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorrows. I would start looking for him there in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother. Anyway. All right. I'll get to the bridge as soon as I'm finished here. Our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. Let's go. Sir Balan joined you. Okay. Animals. Half of the village is killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. Yes, we must. Take a look at this. Uh -huh. Equal shares to all. Okay, we we'll get a battle. Gather all you can. The dead won't need anything, will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. Spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am. To save these people. Yes. I need them to work the fields, see? You are a disgrace to everything the Round Table stood for. Maybe this land needs my Round Table to survive. Uh, what should we do? Should we, um... Deploy them closer or further back and let them come to us? They have archers though. Ready to fight. At your service, my lord. Yeah. So let's see about this. Aha. Well, 
that's quite annoying actually that he moves away one block when I hit him like that. Uh, okay. I am ready. What should you be doing? Let's have you stand here. I fight for honor. Why don't you go and stand here? That's a shame. Costs him four points to attack. Oh, and then he gets a free attack, I see. Yeah, okay. You command? You're done. Let's have you hide back here. Wait it out. Overwatch. Select an area and consume all remaining AP when enemy enters selected area on the next turn. Immediately execute one attack for every four AP consumed. Okay. Reserve. Consume all AP to save some for the next turn. This action is irresistible. Ah. Your command? Okay. Thank you. Um, Ready to fight. At your service, my lord. Yeah. For my Camelot. Uh, you know what, let's get you as close as you can. Your Highness? Ah. Yeah, of course, well, he's an archer, makes sense. Uh, what does this cost? Nope. A lady with a bow, I could use someone like you. All you did was steal my chance to finish these mongrels. Uh, yeah, she seems like uh, yeah, she would be useful. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen, seeker of the Holy Grail. Mm hmm. Didn't we have enough fools rooting around for their chalice? 
Uh, I always thought that this quest was meant for Gallant and Percival. Percival? Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. Hmm. Where are the Grail Knights then? You must know them well. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. A bright light in the encroaching darkness. Fighting his battles where I can't reach him. And Galahad? Galahad is... Well... Trust me when I say that he is truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. Don't tell me you're looking for the grail among these hovels. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. Let's see, by hunting down vermin like this, uh, you are hoping to die from a cheap rusted blade. Yeah, yeah, you are hoping to die from a cheap rusted blade? No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. Then our destination is the same. The good lord sent you then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Okay, Lady Dindrain. More trinkets. Alright. Space the speed of the enemy's turn. Um, you know what? They can come to us. Uh, let's move just a little bit up. I am ready. Your orders. How far can you shoot? Eh, not that far. Can you actually? Christ on the cross. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can keep those. Yes, uh, okay. Let's move you behind Maldred. Um, I don't. The king and country. Try this. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, awaiting your command. Blessings. There you go. Take care of you. Um, well, let's have you go over there. Then. Oh, I could have probably hit that guy. Well, for king and country, time to feed the ravens. Well, we're done. There you go. Go stand in between them. One less to worry about. Ah. 
Um, she can do that. Yeah. Defend yourself. I am ready. Thank you for saving me. Okay. What is this thing? Huh. Using direct control feels a bit weird, but A sacred place. Shrines. Okay, let's have a look. Your proficiency in spellcraft reveals that the shrine will unleash unleash the following power: heal HP. Uh, leave it. We're full on. We don't need any HP. Maybe later. Let you in more dread. In the old days, you raised the towers of mad wizards and crushed the champions of the Shi. And now you are trying to save some dirt poor villagers. How profoundly annoying it shall be for you. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we went here already. Okay. God. A place to set up camp. This is my lucky day. Resting areas. Aha. You may come across resting areas throughout the map. Your heroes can use these opportunities to regain some health and armor. Or armor. Um So the thing is, um, we haven't lost that much. I don't know if you can use campfires indefinitely. Let's try. Uh, nope. 50% of lost armor. Yeah. Rise and shine, knights. I guess. Oh, ruined keep. This is where the Lord of the Vermin is hiding. Let's cleanse this hovel once and for all. Hmm. Any tactical advantage we can get from entering somewhere else. Treasure chest. Don't know. Eh. Let's try this side. Get ready. Let's get you here, then you can hit something. No, no, you Your get highness? to go there. Yeah. I fight for honor. Uh, 
Ah, bring it. I am ready. There you go. Let's have you stand here. Ready to fight. Your orders? Kneel before your king. Awaiting your command. I am wounded. Hmm. He has a lot of armor. Ready to fight. Your command? So I guess he could move in here and actually hit him. Yeah. None shall stand against me. Awaiting your command. Ready to fight. Okay. A king and country. Try this one. One less to worry about. Ready to fight. Down with the violence. Yep, we're done. My lord, I oh, can't reach him. Uh, uh, yes, you can. Oh, 
how I backstab this extra damage. Uh, keep that. When can I hit you? Can I still do this one? Down with the vileness. Aha. Done, sir. Um, let's see. No, there's really no way that I can hit him. Let's just hide a bit. Blessing. I was wrong about you, Mordred. Careful with the praise, it makes me uncomfortable. I shall give you an advice then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. You mean your ancestral bridge? My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort, holding back the tides of midnight. This almost sounds like a praise. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balan will fall if you don't help him out. And what about you? I have fulfilled my oath. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you there. Hmm. Fine, I'll... We'll see you at the bridge. Victory. Finished mission, finished missions. When you complete all main objectives on a level, you can exit via the finish mission button at the top right. Or you can choose to explore the rest of the map before leaving. Yeah. Uh, which we will do because there is an oath stone. Okay. And I'm thinking that is all that there is to it. Oh. This is my lucky day. All right. Uh, finish mission. Okay. This Marauder Knight of Kingstone is no more. His fate could serve as an example for those who dare to defy the will of Camelot. His vessels uh, and a ruined village remain. I have also met a fellow knight, Sir Balan. Uh, told me that the darkness encroaching Avalon is coming through the Bridge of Sorrow. I need to go there. Camelot Reborn. Every lord needs a castle and I knew it from the very beginning that I will rule this realm from Camelot. Finally the time is right. We have gathered the resources and the manpower to rebuild that majestic ruin. Camelot will shine a bright light into the gathering darkness of Avalon. Let Camelot rise again. Mm -hmm. Training ground merchant getting a round table. Hospice. Welcome to the Round Table. This is the legendary gathering place of the Noble Knights of Camelot. The seat of the Monarch of Avalon. You can pass laws, issue decrees and give knighthood to heroes. But first you have to unlock its functions. Aspirant Hero Slots. Heroes outside of your active roster are waiting here. You can add heroes if there are empty slots on your hero list. Upgrade the Round Table to expand your hero list to acquire more heroes to your active roster. Grandmaster, you can assign a hero from your hero list to this title. A building with an assigned leader gains additional benefits. 
Certain hero traits will have an effect on a title, uh, so be sure to pay attention to them. A hero can only hold one title at the same time. Um, Okay, we can be the Grand Master ourselves. Probably for the best, because uh, Sir K, we've been told that Sir K isn't really all that uh, smart. Um. Make you a loyal protector? I guess we can. So we need to build a hospice? Avalon can be a harsh and unforgiving place. Your wounded heroes need time to uh, need time and care to recover for the next nightly quest. The hospice uh, offering comfortable beds and skilled healers is the right place for that. At the moment you only have one treatment slot where you can heal your heroes. Treatment takes time and you won't be able to use your hero during this period. The recovery time will be reduced by one after every completed mission. Here you can reconstruct this building and expand its capabilities. Uh, upgrade the building to unlock additional three treatment slots so you can heal uh, more heroes simultaneously, cheaper and faster. So can we... Oh. We need something. We need this. Building resources. Okay. Mm -hmm. She cannot use any of this. And neither this. Hmm. Um. Okay, this one's sort of better yeah let's equip that you cannot use this aha that's not too bad because we can actually knock down you know what, let's give you an extra potion, because you uh, don't have any armor. What's this? Poisoned arrow. The hero detects enemy traps from a number of tiles, range equal to the hero's perception. One less damage from range attacks, that's not too bad. That's not too bad either. Plus one twenty overwatch damage. Um, what are these extra ones? Gain one less AP per turn. That's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good as well. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do this. Let's do extra. Yeah, let's increase the, the duration of burning and let's increase our damage against burning them. Uh, there we go. Burning seems useful. Uh, you haven't lost any heroes yet. 
The resting place for your hero is fallen in battle, left to perish into dust. Select their tombstones to pay respect and remember how their heroic deeds helped you on your quest. Okay. Yeah, we don't have... Okay, we can reconstruct a merchant. Maybe we should. A hidden building in the shadow of the colossal ramparts, uh, where a secretive merchant offers all kinds of rarities arriving from the various corners of the island, ranging from strange fruits or mysterious objects to legendary weapons on earth from a ruined castle. Here you can reconstruct a merchant and expand capabilities, more items, faster refreshing, cheaper and better goods. Uh, sell. Uh, this one can go. This one can go. Uh, Let's give you a nice weapon. Let's buy this and we can probably sell this because this one that sword is only usable by uh, by moderate. Mordred, Mordred, Mordred. So we might as well equip that, sell this. Well, I'll hold on to that one. Three missions left to finish this event. The defeat of the Marauder Knight of Kingstone was a harsh lesson for all the scoundrels pillaging at the countryside and a pleasant exercise for me. His remaining henchmen immediately laid down their weapons and offered their servitude. How admirably they crave retribution. I could give them a second chance and recruit them. Or on the other hand, I should satisfy the vengeance of the villagers and make an example that could reinforce my reign. What shall it be? Oh, I do get resources. Uh, put the captured marauders to sword. It is a harsh verdict, but the act they committed again in Kingston cannot be tolerated. Yeah, kind of. So I honestly thought that it might have might be the other way around, because it seemed like well, not really. I wanted to mention it's kind of the Christian thing to have them make penance in a way, but then again, uh, uh, you know. Uh, Tooth for tooth, eye for an eye. So yeah, if they killed, then we should kill them. So this makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, they're done. We still don't have any... Uh, I don't think we have any side quests. Nope. Just the main quest. And we get this. Okay. Two. Unlocks medicines building developed for the hospice. Vitality healing increases 50% missions for free. Okay. So yeah, this was... Uh, I'm going to call the episode here for now. First look at uh, King Arthur's Knight's Tale. Um, yeah, I don't really have much of an opinion on it yet. The performance is a bit uh, shoddy. When I was walking during during combat, it's not so bad because it's not really noticeable. But during the the walking around, I the, I felt like it wasn't really hitting 60, and I've I've not really maxed out the game or anything, which I probably should be able to do very fairly easily. So, yeah, the performance seems a bit uh, shoddy. That's a bit of a shame. 
Um, yeah, I really don't know. I get that it's an a, it's a double A title, not a triple A title. So yeah, it's it's a bit rough around the edges, but mm. anyway, I'll leave it here for now. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye.